Dr. Shalawan. First and foremost, I want to give all the glory, all the honor, and all the praises to the Most High, whose name is Yahweh, and the name of his son, Yahweh Shai. And peace and salutation to all the brothers that's doing this work in truth and in sincerity. You know? So today, we want to get into uh, the curses that's in Deuteronomy chapter 28. Because we know that a lot of a lot of our, our brothers and sisters today think that our nation is not under these curses no more. Right. right. You know, they would say that happened to to, to the Israelites in the past, you know, and all these curses, we, we beyond these curses, right? You know, but we finna prove it today through the scriptures that you know we still are under these curses, man. That's and, right. And we're not gonna get from under these curses till our Lord and Savior return. That's right. This is Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass if thou would not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Right, so, and then that the Most High, first the Most High went into the blessings, you know, that Israel would have if we would, if we would listen to his commandments, you know, but as we know that the Israelites, our forefathers, they went away from doing the commandments. Right. And so, and now those curses fell upon them and it said it's gonna be upon your generations hereafter. And so it's up on us now, you know? And so this is where we at now. Our people are up under these curses, man. You keep reading? Yeah, 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 I, 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 I can. I can go ahead. Yeah, there's a uh, verse 16, it says, Cursed shall thou be in the city, and cursed shall thou be in the field. Now, I don't know if you, you brothers and sisters have seen on the news, it was talking about, uh, it was talking about over a hundred homeless people were taken by, they were missing. I can't remember what city that was. I want to say Oklahoma, but I don't think it was Oklahoma. But they said they couldn't find where all these homeless were. They just missing hundreds of homeless people. And uh, and when we go up and down the, the streets of Houston, we see all the Jakes out here, man. And those in that city, it was majority Jakes, of course. And we look at the condition of our people, man. Right. We cursed in the city, man. Wherever we go, then you That's go right. out to the to the rural areas in the country. And you see the same thing out there, man. Curse in the city, curse in the field. Jake is being disenfranchised. You see gentrification going on in the city limits. Jake being pushed out, man. Mm -hmm. So don't matter what Jake do, man, he's, he's, if they're not abiding by the law, statutes, and commandments of, of, of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, that's right. they're falling under these, these curses, man. That's right. And, that, and you know, that's a, that's a sad thing to, to, to see our people in that state. Uh -huh. You know, even even like in a in that moment, just uh, just like our, our brother Paul, man, our, our brother Paul, man, you you have a there's a there's a continual sorrow inside the heart for for, for our people. You know, just like Yahweh Shai, he had compassion on our people, man. He didn't want to see him go down that type of path, but man, if you reject it, what else is there for you, man? That's right. He told the Pharisees, if you believe not, you are already condemned. Man. That's right, man. Uh, I think that's right there. The, the, yeah, just, uh, yeah, just start from the top. Yeah, start from the top. Yeah. This is Romans chapter 9, verse 1. I say the truth in, in Hamashiach. I lie not. My conscience also bared me witness in the Holy Ghost that I have a great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. See, look at that, man. Even, even our brother Paul, man, has a, has a great sorrow in, in his heart for the people, man. Cause our people ain't trying to even hear this thing. They just right. constantly, they looking at, at the society, thinking it's gonna go on forever. In their minds, they feel like, hey, let Esau yep. rule over us. Right. Why would you want something like that, man? Why would you want to be under the thumb of somebody who has, has degraded you, has oppressed you constantly? You go through the history, totally decimating our people mm -hmm. without any remorse whatsoever. Yep. No regret. And man, that, that gotta do something to your mind yep. and for, these brothers out here who are talking about we are not under the curses, man, you, are, you gotta be out your mind to make a statement like that. Cat, if you buying a house and you lend that money, you gotta get that money, you go into that bank and guess who owns the banks? That's right, man. He saw on that bank. Yep. That's part of the curse right there. That's part of the curse. That's part of the curse, man. So how can you make a statement like that saying that you are not under the curses during this time? And Jake, no, he's not out there doing the commandments of the Most High, man. Right. You know, you would say you you say you love Jesus, you say you know Jesus, so-called Jesus, but Jesus will say you what he said in the scriptures, 
if you love me, you will keep my commandments, man. Yep. You know? Yep. Mm -hmm. So that's how you know that you do not love him because you're not keeping his commandments. Yeah. Yep. When they mean they love Jesus, they mean they love Esau. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. When oh, they submit to him, they're going to forgive him and everything. Mm -hmm. It's the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 32 and 24. He that believeth in the Lord taketh heed unto the commandment. Mm -hmm. And he that trusteth in him shall fare never the worse. Yeah. You know? Mm hmm. It's about keeping the Lord's commandments, man. If you're not doing that, I mean, we can still keep them to the best of our ability today, but we still not going to escape these curses. That's right. You know, this this is uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 20, and it says, Yahweh shall send upon thee cursing, vexation, and rebuke in all that thou settest thy hands unto for to do, until thou be destroyed, and until thou perish quickly. Because of the wickedness of thy doings, whereby thou hast forsaken me. Now, this word right here, he said, for the wickedness of thy doings. Now, some yep. of these guys out here say that when it's pertaining to the wicked, it's only talking about Esau. Esau. But the Most High is speaking unto Israel. Yep, that's right. If you're doing wickedness, what does that make you, man? That's right. <laughs> it's the day, it, 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 your actions defining what no. you... <laughs> it also makes you the wicked. It makes you the wicked. Verse so you just read chapter two. That's twenty. Yeah, that's verse twenty. It ain't always talking about Esau. It ain't that's always. Right. It ain't always talking nah. about Esau. And I'm gonna I'm a just, just to tell you in in, uh, in First Maccabees, and there arose. Uh, that, yep, that wicked. Yep, that's, that's right. Wicked Israelites, you know. And here, here you go in Proverbs three and thirty three. It says, "The curse of Yahweh is in the house of the wicked." So right, if man. you are underneath the curses, <laughs> yeah. man, it all goes, it's all relative. It all goes together, man. Mm -hmm. You doing wickedness, man, the curse of the most high is upon you. Yep. That's right. Get bro. get 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 uh get John. Yeah, you've got some? No, nah, go but, ahead. Get John, yeah, get but you the, hold John chapter three and verse out. Yeah. But his secret is with the righteous. Hey man. There's no way you can get around this thing, man. You can call Esau wicked all you want to. We know he is. But it's wicked is like yeah, that. That's right. Because a curse on our people is Scott is is Yahweh's wrath. That's it. That's yeah. right. That's what it is. Yeah. So get this. Say that check. in uh, I think Nehemiah. What you oh you got? Yeah, John 3 and 17. You say John 3 and 17? I believe 17 start there. Uh your disciples remember that it was written? John 3. Are you on three John 3? Yeah. Oh. God sent not his son into the world to condemn him. Yeah. That which one? Mm -hmm. This is John chapter 3, verse 17. For Yahweh sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Keep going. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already. Come on. Because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten son of Yahweh. Come on now. Yep. Come on. That's that hey, amen. Right, man. It's, it's, it's no it's no shortcut in this thing man you 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 got one or two choices to make in this thing yep. and being that the most high according to his foreknowledge everything has predestined that that predestination type B, he already know what you're gonna do uh -huh. he right. already knows man so you know well, you, you can get you get get verse 36 <laughs> I think I, I think he reiterates it something a little bit too I got it right here um, this is Deuteronomy. Oh, oh no, John three. Okay. Yeah, it's lucky. Yeah, John three. Just to, you know. Yeah, just to kind just of. To, yeah. Back. This is John chapter three, verse thirty-six. He that believeth on the Son has everlasting life, mm -hmm. and he that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of Yahweh abide on him. It's like the brother was saying: the curse, the, the, the curse stays up on you. That's right, yep. man. That's the wrath of Yahweh, man. Yep. So a bite, a bite is on you, it stays on you, man. That's right. Even them jakes that look like they're doing good, got it going on, mm -hmm. got the nice cars, got the nice house. Most high can be confounding them, man. That's right. Yep. You yep. saw uh -huh. me coming through, pulling his tongue foolery. Mm -hmm. Right. That's you know right. What I'm saying on them, having them go to jail for false charges. Yep. Yep. That's right. Trying to take his type to take their estates. Yep. You be hearing these jakes talking about, oh man, that dude got his masters. I remember when in the '90s or early '2000s when you hear about an artist got their masters, it was like, man, this dude make it. He got his masters. He's good. Right. And Esau be back door and trying to get it like they did Prince. Uh huh. Like and, they and, did Michael. And the most high yeah. uses Esau. 
as his weapon, man, against us. To, yep. to, to bring his, his wrath upon us. Yep. He Ooh. used these other nations to, right. as a whooping stick for us, man. And just a little, little bit more on this, this piece right here. This is First Maccabees. For everybody who continues to say that it's just talking about Esau. Yep. It's always a good topic. <laughs> just to get some understanding on it. This First Maccabees, I'm going to start in, in uh, 11 first. First Maccabees 1 and 11. And it said, In those days went there out Israel wicked men who persuaded many, saying, Let us go and make a covenant with the heathen that are round about us. For since right. we departed from them, we had much sorrow. So this device pleased them well. Now li listen to what that's stating, man. These people being wicked, they decided to forsake the laws, follow that of the heathen. What are people doing today? Mm -hmm. United States love doing Christmas. Right. Yep. What does Jake do? He does Christmas. What does that make him? Makes him wicked. Yep. And guess what that does? That brings a curse upon you, Jake. That's right. Yep. So everything that you're doing, your Easter, mm -hmm. Thanksgiving, all these things that this society loves to do, you're falling under those curses, Jake. I don't care if you can buy your house straight cash, you're still under the curse. That's yep. right. It don't matter. Yeah. It just don't matter, man. Yeah. Even Michael Jackson lost Never Never Land. Y yeah, right, right. He was worth a billion. He was worth a billion. Right. He was worth a billion dollars. And also, anyway, the ones like the Most High say, those, those the ones that's rich, they even got their consolation on this side. Yeah. You know? and so, uh, if they got their consolation on this side, I thought they was gonna inherit the kingdom, though. I thought Come so on. too. For Come on, other man. Doctrine. Come on, man. Wait, man. Yeah. Like I said, we don't want to, you know. It, it ain't. We really don't. We, we really we really don't want to try and go. At you guys too much, but we gonna have to soon make a plane on y'all's false doctrine, but yeah, yeah, because it, it, because the, the the whole thing is, man, the, the thing is for reproof and correction, because just like look what it stated inside that first Maccabees, it said, and it they persuaded men, and it pleased them well. Mm -hmm. They they love that, man. All right. So when you coming into somebody's false doctrine, man, hey, yeah, man, right. uh -huh. they start they excited about it, man. And that group is original boule. Original. Right. Lake goes back to ancient Greece. That's right. right. That literally, that word literally is talking about a council of men that were advisors to the king. And when you go into that, the fact that Esau gave them that title in the early uh, 20th century shows you that that was the original boule, and that's what they were literally called back then. Right, and right. What their thing was to do was to Hellenize us as much as possible. Mm -hmm. To set up people, your, your uh, entertainers and people in prominent positions that would then influence us into, into outright Hellenism. That's right. Right, right. That's right. right. You know, and, and like one of the curses uh, in Deuteronomy, the Most High said that he was going to scatter us, man. Uh-huh. You mm -hmm. know, for not hawking unto his commandments, that he was going to scatter us amongst all nations, amongst yep. our enemies. Right? right. You know, and that's why we're here today. Yeah. Because of the curse. Yeah. You're under the curse, bro. That's right. There's no way you can get around that, man. You can continue to kind of rationalize that thought process as much as you want, but mm -hmm. at the end of the day, you have no power over in these lands, man. Yeah. You try to go over there and and and, and try and say you have certain rights over here, right. man. They're gonna look at you and be like, man, go and sit down, man. I get put in jail, man. Mm -hmm. What people fit this curse right here? This is Deuteronomy chapter 28 and 48. Therefore shalt thou serve thy enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee, in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in want of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. Mm -hmm. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far, from the end of the earth, as swift as the eagle flieth, a nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. Man. So, what group of people then had yokes of iron around their neck? Mm -hmm. What group of people then serve, uh, serving their enemies? We doing that to this day. Mm -hmm. this day. We serving our enemies, man. And we know our forefathers in slavery, in the captivity, Mm -hmm. Slavery that they were, they had yokes of iron around their neck. They and, got pictures. Mm -hmm. You can Google yeah, it. And right. you know the peep, the crazy thing about it is you can find people in Africa with yokes around the iron around their neck in the late 19th that's century, right. yep. to early 20th century, yokes of iron on their neck being forced to go dig up for rubber, that's right. diamonds, and gold. Yep. You're right, 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 man. That's right. So I mean, man, shoot, the stuff is heavy. And the stuff, and, and you know what, we we mention this stuff, and it's always good to to mention because. You know, just like we're saying, some of the Jakes, they, they kind of lose sight of what's going on in this world. 
but know and understand that this thing perpetuates too. It don't just stay the same. Yep, that's right. This thing gets oh, perpetual motion. It, it, it tells you, uh, if you get that, it should be a sign in the one on your seat forever. It's uh, really close close on that Deuteronomy 28. And, and, and I just wanted to bring up a, an example. Like we in Houston, Texas, and uh, we we have kids that go to, go to schools down here. And they're already making certain changes inside of the, the school systems that hasn't been mentioned yet but it'll come out it'll come out sooner or later where they take in they take in uh, Jake they taking Jake kids yeah, I know it's right close by. and putting them together and then putting the Edomite kids in in other rooms and teaching them in sec uh, teaching them the same subjects but separate so hey man this thing is perpetuating that's it's what they, they did back in Nazi Germany man yeah, they started right. having codes for different um, ethnic groups yeah, different. Um, what they did is eventually they created like a, a color and number coding system. Right. So that way you knew what someone was. Right. All the way down to whether if uh, half if one of their parents was, was classified as something. Right. Right. Or if they were a gypsy, or if they were, um, or if they were so uh, Jewish, or if they were 100% so-called Aryan. Right. Right. They had coding systems, man. That's right. So they're gonna start doing that, man. They're gonna start doing some semblance of that. And it tells you, if you go into, what's it called? Behold the Pale Horse. Oh, yeah. That book. Yep. It tells you that the so-called black and Hispanic people were going to be targeted in the last days when they set up the New World Order. That's yeah. right, man. W William Coop. William Coop. Now, he Any? tried to add in there that so-called gays and lesbians were going to be targeted. That was a yeah, yeah, that was freaking right. lie. Right, right. Yeah. That was a lie beyond freaking. He must have been a liberal. And he yeah. must have a, have a liberal angle, angle in his yeah, mind yeah. to also add that because that makes no sense. Yeah, yeah. Like, if anything, that will save you in the New World Order if you basically are on that... That, on that, that agenda, uh -huh. if you're on that lefty agenda, you gonna take the chip right. off the rip because you're ready. You're ready with the with the system. Right, right. So right. ain't no way someone is already do on that belief, and they ain't gonna take the chip, man. That's right. that's like damn near yeah. hand in hand with the chip. Uh -huh. that's right. Yes. Yeah. This is Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 45. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee and overtake thee till thou be destroyed. Mm. And we destroyed as a people, man. You know, that don't mean it's going to kill us and take us out. Oh, know? well, literally, yeah, I, yeah, some of at the end, yeah, some the, the point right. of the curses, oh, right, right, right. you're yeah. literally going to be destroyed. That's right. Right, right. <laughs> That's right. But the Most High said, Because thou hearken not unto the voice of the Lord thy God to keep his commandments and his statutes, mm -hmm. which he command thee, and they shall be upon thee for a sign, for a wonder, and upon thy seed forever. Oh, look at that, man. So man, look. So I mean, that's how we know who the people, are, who the children of God is. Yeah. And look, and look at, look at, look at the, look at the uh, status of Jake right now. Right. These millennials, group. That's right. They got it to the point to where they're idolizing Beyonce on a level that's and unprecededented. I, I said, said it last year. I remember I'm, you going into it, bro. That was the spirit of the Lord. I, and, I said it. I, I remember. I right. said, I they about to worship and, Beyonce. And, 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 look, doing? and then they got a King Bay Bible. You can Google it. Google King Bay Bible, Google Beyonce Bias Church, and you'll see this, man. The idolatry. Man, I, it's crazy, bro. It's done. I bro. saw that car. I said, I, they about to turn this woman to Dinah Ephesus. She's a Mosier right now. I said, they doing it, man. I can see it because I was like, they didn't do it. They couldn't do it with Marilyn Monroe. But they about to do it with Beyonce because Marilyn Monroe died. Yeah. yeah. But now they saw an opportunity to do it with Beyonce, man. And, and I got this, I got this for you on, uh, this is tw Deuteronomy 28 and 32. It says, Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people, and thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long, and there shall be no might in thine hands. Mm. Now that happened back then, but that's happening absolutely right now. Now right. peep this up. Go ahead, go ahead. A story just came out uh -huh. over there in, the, in South Texas off the border uh -huh. about 1,300 Kids being taken, they and was missing. Taken. They That's missing. Right. Those kids are and missing. And you best believe those mothers yep. are longing what? for their kids, hey, bro. bro. You took that out right it because that was the same story I read this morning, man. I was gonna mention that piece too. But that's letting you know right now that this same thing is happening. They sex so, trafficking them they kids, man. Oh, bro. You already man, know. They sex trafficking them kids. That's bro. off the rip, man. Look, but we ain't under the curses, though. Come on. Come on, man. And, and, and they killed a 16-year-old Guatemalan uh, girl the other day. 
bitch down there at, at the border. The border patrol killed her, shot her in the head. Mm. Yeah. Same. Because many, many of the ones that are crossing now are not are what you call o, um, OTMs, other uh -huh. than Mexicans. That's what they call them in the border patrol. Uh -huh. They call them OTMs. So that's generally your people from Guatemala, Honduras, yeah, yeah. and um, Nicaragua. Uh -huh. Those are the ones that are primarily starting to come over because of how bad it is in those countries. And and though, and and look at it, they had them kids at them facilities. They have holding facilities because I had my cousin in San Antonio. She worked at a one of those transfer type centers in San Antonio, where when these illegals come, uh -huh. they put them in these different centers. And she worked at one of those where they had the kids and the mothers at and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So what they're doing is for one, they're not accounted for because they're not citizens. Uh -huh. So it allows for human trafficking to occur off the rip and the government is controlling that bro. look at that because it's your border patrol officials man and f and and agents that are in control of those facilities you how do you lose that many kids right exactly there's no way 1300 kids man there's no way bro how can you lose 1300 kids come on I, unless as an agenda to get rid of those kids and put them into that deal no nah, what will happen what about pizza day Come you know, on, it's all again. adding up, man. Yeah, yeah it's all they, adding up. They hey. can traffic those kids from Texas, the borders of Texas, all the way to D.C. or whatever these politicians or elites want want them to do their wickedness. What about what about in the, in in their, their their law sent when when they went bankrupt over here, they collateralized all all the people over here, right? So sometimes other people be looking for payment. Who's the payment? If you ain't got the bread to pay, give them the people. Sex yep. traffic. Yep. Bruh, they collateralize you over here, man. You are nothing but a commodity. And then they secretly do these things, and then you're like, where are the people? But they do it. And you saying, and the thing about it, all these people, y'all saying that the, that, the, who, that the natives of the Americas are not the Northern Kingdom, bro? You guys That's are right. You guys are. Come on, man. Y'all already, already been done, man. Y'all been done since. Man. It's I, all old news done. It's Deuteronomy 28 and 29. And thou shalt grope at noonday as the blind grope within darkness. And thou shalt not prosper in thy way, and thou shalt be only oppressed and spoiled evermore, and no man shall save thee. But we ain't, we ain't uh, under the that's, that's Our people are being spoiled, man, for mm -hmm. these elites, like the yep. children that took been taken captive, been stolen. That's right. That's mm -hmm. a spoil. Mm -hmm. you know? And oppressed, so that's right. And they, oppressed, come on. And so we know there's groups of people right. in America that's that right. are not oppressed. How y'all y'all can't fit that, can't man? Can't fit that, man. Y'all can't fit that. Is the so-called Jewish man right. oppressed? That's right. You's a damn lie if you're saying he's oppressed. And right. We downtown Houston right now. All we see is our people walking here groping, man, with their heads down, no shoes yep. on their feet, ah. out of their mind. Before y'all came, there was a Jake. He was had his head bobbing down. Right. On you know he was on a narcotic for about yep. on 30, 30 minutes, yeah, bro. Man. Just done. That's right. We just seen him laid flat out on the concrete. Nobody come to help. Nobody comes to save you, just like the scripture just said. You know, they lay out here on the, on the, on the concrete out of their mind, man. Police ride by, walk right by, don't say nothing. Oh, man, man. But we ain't under the curses. Yep. Deuteronomy 28 and 41. Thou shalt beget sons and daughters, but thou shalt not enjoy them, for they shall go into captivity. Yep, I'm going to show the article. Out of there, man. Here it is. Government has lost 1,475 children in it separated from immigrant parents. Come on, man. Nick from by Nick Galepsi. This is it says innocent kids are being terrible costs to make America great again. Well, Look at that. Why would they Look separate the kids from the parents though? Why Come would they on. even do that? It don't make because, sense. Because man. they want to make they want to make America great again. They want to make a spoil you of them. That's what they want to do. This is Deuteronomy chapter 28 and 37. And thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb, a byword among all nations, whether the Lord shall lead thee. Mm -hmm. You nigger, you spick, you wetback, mm -hmm. you, you're a tree monkey, your porch monkey. Yep. You know, that's the bywords, man. There you go. Yeah. You know? But we ain't under the curse. But we ain't under the curse. Yeah, I'm on no, we're Americans. We ain't, we ain't yeah. got no bad words. Right. Oh, I said, Negro, man. you're American every four years and it's only the dream team. <laughs> you ain't a part of that number. It's the dream team and the track team. Like Fred Sanford. That's, what, that's say, when you're an American or you you doing gymnastics. Like Fred Sanford say, you <laughs> big dummy. <laughs> Those are the only people that are classified as Americans, and that's for a season every four years. And then hmm. you and then we come over here, you know, you 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 come over here, you don't make it, you don't 
grow your own food. You can't grow your own food because it's a See? curse. When you try to grow it, it ain't gonna. See this? Look at the brother, man. That's right. Broken at noonday, man. The brother's gone, bro. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Man, I... Man, and I, see, the, the, the state and condition of our men, bro, that stuff man. be vexing the mess out of me, I, for bro, real, that, man. That's, 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 that's stuff be hurting, bro. That stuff bro. gets under my skin, man. But that's what? the astonishment that the other nations get when they see us. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, they like, always... And, and the other nations, the ones that know who we are, right. they are like, look how far they fall. Yep. Right, right. 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 Uh -huh. right. Yeah. Yep, that's right. That's they, right. They thanking the Most High don't forsake us. Yep. yep. We haven't, man. The scriptures yep. tell you that the Most High have not forgot his people. Yep. yep. You know? That's right. And that's what he's doing right now. He's raising us back up, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's, that's right. why we out here on this block trying to push these statute laws and commandments on our people, man. Mm -hmm. Trying to tell them they need to come back to their power, man. Yahweh. Yep. You know? And then you got Israelites that'll tell you you don't have to do the 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 high holy feast. Come on, man. Oh, we don't do that. Bruh, what, what are y'all talking about, man? That's a commandment. That's a commandment, man. Well, on top of that, uh, you know, and the commandments, commandments is from red letter too. So yeah, that's right, man. Commandments that's right there in red letter. You know, as far as how to how to basically get back in good graces with them. That's right, right bro. Exactly. You know, because sometimes right. when we read commandment, we think it's just the 600 and 30, whatever, 13, 13 laws. laws. Yeah, yeah. But it's, it's, it's the other, it's the other right. commandments that were given that were held. Right, right. That's right. That came out of the mouth of Yahweh Shai. That's right. So they, right. Could keep, they could keep all 613 all they want. If you ain't got the remission of sins, you're mm -hmm. going to be destroyed. Yeah. Because right. it tells you that anybody that wants to be justified by the law shall die by the law. Yeah, that's right. If you want right. to justify by the law, you should, you know, try that's and right. keep all 613, shoot, you're going to perish. Right, because you first of all one you didn't have the sacrifice for the law mm -hmm. that you uh, the sins are already committed from when you was a youth yep. mm -hmm. that's right yeah man you know and then right. you, and then you come to uh the people will say they came to to america for riches and, uh, and a better life but man look here and man then i heard people say that, I, that this is the land flowing with milk and honey right and yeah. i'm telling you the truth bro yeah, i'm gonna tell you i tell you the truth before you how i lie not i heard that out of out of <laughs> People in my family's own mouth say that this is the land flowing with milk and honey. Come on, man. Well, I damn near had to. I just had to. I damn near had to sell. Bro, bro. I was like, <laughs> man, I'm done. I said, through. You believe that this place is, is paradise, heaven on earth, as they say? I said, man. Then what is then? Then man. Oh. You're just. You're, you're done. You're all the way done. Your mind is just. Up been altered. It, your it mind, is, your, your, the perception of, of reality is gone. And, you know? and see our people, man, the thing is, is that you're constantly sleeping, you're keeping your eyes closed and stuff. Our people won't research a damn thing. Mm -hmm. You go out here, man, you're looking at the food that we eat. Man, they had a video. It's still out there. You can Google, you can YouTube this video. It's with, uh, it's with, uh, 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 what's the guy, Rabbi, uh, Rabbi, Finkelstein, I think it was. The dude was up there saying this old crazy stuff, man. And he say, I'm telling you this, tell him the interviewer, he said, I'm telling you this because I can tell you the truth and you won't believe it. He say, yeah, y'all missing kids during the Passover time. And you know what we do with those kids? He say, we, <laughs> he say, they being killed. Mm -hmm. They taking organs and then they put the, the, the parts or whatever inside food products. Mm -hmm. Now, he made this statement on the YouTube video. Now, when you listen to it, you're like, man, this dude don't make no sense. This dude's crazy. But why is it when you go and Google McDonald's, they finding human DNA all up in the food. You go to Taco Bell and you Google Taco Bell, human DNA all up in the food. Now, it'll be one thing if you take just a whole bunch of food and you're just doing this. These people are going in there randomly taking stuff and then finding human DNA and everything they, they take, bro. So this dude, if you're looking at it, it seems so far-fetched, but then in reality, it ain't, man. That's right. So he, he's, in a way, he's telling you the truth. I, he said it, he told the dude, he said, I, we could tell you the truth, but you won't believe it anyway. Mm -hmm. Come on, Goyim, man. man. They call you the Goyim. They call you, the, and that's what he was saying. He said, you guys are cattle, you're Goyim. Right. He's like, man, if you go and just uh, YouTube interview with Rabbi Finkelstein and listen to what this guy is saying. That's right, man. But see, Jake don't. Jake ain't gonna think about stuff nah. like that. They ain't gonna read. They ain't gonna research. 
Uh, we they they want to see who what's the next Beyonce CD coming out? Who fit to win the NBA championship? Mm -hmm. Who gonna win the Super Bowl? They they doing this stuff on purpose for you, man. They That's keeping right. your mind away from this, yep. and then you fall That's deeper right. into an abyss. Yeah, they had these bro. jakes on. This is America for a, a minute. Right. Y'all didn't know that they was going back door. Y'all going to praise Donald, Donald Glover. Yep. And they was going to be like, oh, uh, pansexual. Pansexual. Yep. yep. Just threw it right there, right, right when you right when you fall in love with them. Right. And put pansexualism on there, man. And, you and know that's what I knew was an agenda because all the my outlets was talking about this is America. Right. I said, this is an agenda. Right. Because anything that's really organic and true stays underground. It gets right. suppressed. The YouTube views get suppressed. Right. You don't hear about it because it's just too... It's too good. It's too much good information. See, when that dude did that video, when he did that video, he actually crashed the servers that got hit so much, man. Mm -hmm. He actually crashed the servers on that thing. Yep. And you know they separating the kids. That should be. I walked by and I was listening. You know what we was talking about though? You know, when they should be separating the kids when they cross the border. Right. That's, that's right. what we're talking about. That's right. exactly yeah. right. Yeah. That's yeah. right. And I was just, I'm sorry. I mean, oh, I'm no, actually no, you're right. from one of the tribes. You, that's right. Saying. Oh, okay. That's what we're saying though, that our people are under these curses yeah. and they're using us as spoiled. That's I part mean, of the curse. That's what that's. And you know, yep. we, we, we spoil yep. to them, to the other nations. Yeah, they've been doing that for a long for right. time. You guys I, are the first time I heard it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, bro. All right, man. Y'all be safe. All right. This, this Isaiah. We knew about, about the story. Yeah, right. Yeah. That stuff is wicked, right, man. Bro. Yeah, that stuff is wicked. That stuff is like, bro. How that's... can you lose that many kids, though? How can you lose that many kids, and man? The, and that's the thing. I don't believe you guys. You just want us to go to hell and kiss my ass. That's right. Yeah. So you gonna go? Mm -hmm. no yeah, yeah, right. yeah. Yeah, them demons heavy. Them right, demons are heavy, man. Straight to hell. Man. See, that, and see that's that's the I thing. That's the thing, man. As it, 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 truth, cause see, that, <laughs> those, the Edomite come right through here. You know, obviously, got got demons all over or whatever. And, and she said, Jesus. She said she don't believe in Jesus. So, like, Jesus want me to go to hell. I don't mean no hell. Or something, <laughs> something crazy. Man. So, man, hey, that's just how it, this is what they're doing, man. See, and the thing about it, when you hear about stories like that, that's going to happen in the concentration camps, man. That's it right. shows you that, and I think in, is it Hands May Tell or one of the movies? Because I used to have, I have the scene actually on my, on my computer. Uh -huh. But there's a scene where the, the, the martial law comes in, and they come into this family's house, it's a husband, wife, kids, uh -huh. and they take them, put them in a, in a, in a bus, but everybody else that they took out of this neighborhood, it was like a, it was like a regular neighborhood. Yeah, yeah. And they were putting them in there, it was at night. And then when they got them to the concentration camp, the first thing they did is they separated the parents from the kids. Look at right? that. The first thing they did, and you see the the, the mother like, no, oh, no, the kids are like, mommy. Yep. They doing the same thing right now to to uh, our people that's coming I'm, trying to come across I'm the border. Mind boggled though, how you lose the kids, man. You should be able to find yeah. fourteen. Oh, but they're gonna do an internal investigation that's gonna find nothing. That's gonna find absolutely nothing on it, and then. And then what will happen is that plane? five to ten years later, they were like, oh, uh, we come to the realization that those kids are all in uh, harlot houses. They were no. sold into a... No, they are. They, they were put on a plane and the plane <laughs> crashed in the Bermuda Triangle. Uh, Malaysia. <laughs> they, yeah. go, they was on a Malaysian airline. Man, man, these people, hey man, we have found I, these people to be liars, man. Yeah. That's right, these bro. people are liars, man. You cannot believe one word to these guys are saying. These guys have manipulated us through television because people jank millennials. See it on television. It's true. Yeah. Yep. It's true. It's true. Yep. I saw it on TV. It was true. Flat Earth true. It's true. Flat Earth is true. I mean, I, 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 that's what we warned, brothers. Like, man, when you get something, be careful. Be careful what the information is. And where it's coming. And where it's coming from and see if it matches the scriptures. But, you know, it's a lot of times they're going to listen. Yep. Yep, JK. You see guys now put I seen a dude in GMS putting up information talking about uh there were black people that uh, oh you know we, you know there was people, black people they were the only white people as slaves in America. Yeah, I can see that. Man, see, they trying to reverse this thing. I said you and, and you know where you got that information from? From an Edomite uh Edomite scholar, an Edomite female scholar who basically came out right. with information basically saying that there was a group of that that that, it, that it, there were free, so-called free blacks that came to the, that were in the U.S., and there was many of them, and so a lot of them were not only allowed to own uh, 
black people as slaves, but they were also on white people, and he took it and ran with it. Man. See, yeah, see, they, they be trying to do to say that the Irish was here on slavery. So called white. See, 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 see what they what they do what they do because see it's always a twist with Esau. You see, you have to go to to the Islamic countries to see a thing like that. It wasn't nothing like that over here. They wasn't doing that over here. You gotta go overseas and check the history on that. With the with the Muslims, they was doing that, but Jake wasn't doing that over here, man. That's right. See, y'all got that. Y'all got this thing in y'all head that that we we had power over here, man. Right. Yeah. Dude, that's the, that's just trying to stop. She's trying to say that Amer that when America first was established, that Jake was running it and all this stuff, and they were able. And she, the funny thing about it, the information, the woman said that Jake was able to run. This how this how cold it was. She said that there were free blacks. They could ha have slaves, own white people, all this stuff. Oh, so called white people, right? And they're all able to run for public office, but there was we didn't find any evidence of anyone that was actually running for, that actually ran or won public office. Come on, man, get out of here. Come Psalms, on, man. Psalms 58 and 3. Man, hold on, man. No. The wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies. <laughs> Their poison is like the poison of a serpent. They are like the deaf adder that stoppeth her ear which will not hearken to the voice of charmers, charming never so wisely. Break their teeth, O God, in their mouth, and break out the great teeth of the young lions, O Lord. Let them melt away as waters which run continually. When he bendeth his bow to shoot his arrow, let them be cut into pieces. And now, I, that's new lies. See, See when you got to vet your information, because if yep. that was true, Esau would have put uh -huh. that stuff in books that you can go back to the 1800s back and, right, and reference. You can when you got a scholar, an Edomite female scholar professor coming up with new information, trying to say that in mm -hmm. some way some of some so-called black people in America were oppressing them, nigga, you got a problem. And, and what and what it does, man, because see, what Esau does over time, anybody who had any type of influence in this in this society, and time moves on, they'll turn them from black to white, man. Yep. And now, look at this. We all know that we came over here in transatlantic slave trade. So look what Esau trying to do. Subtly. It's always subtle, man. That's right. And then knowing Esau, he'll go and make a book and, and be like, oh yeah, this was written in the 1700s, 1800s. And look, they was... Man, Esau got all kind of technology, man. You cannot just believe anything that these people are saying, man. That's right, man. We were brought over here to serve a sentence. That's right. And then from this place, we would be saved from these. We would be people. saved. So this is That's right. This is uh this is Micah 4 and 10. It says, Be in pain and labor to bring forth, O daughter of Zion, like a woman in travail. For now thou shalt go forth out of the city, and thou shalt dwell in the field, and thou shalt go even to Babylon. There shalt thou be delivered. There the Lord shall redeem thee from the hand of thy enemies. I'll go to the Vatican and be redeemed. <laughs> Come on, man. Huh? Come on, man. Whoa, cut, man. So we're going to the Vatican and be That's redeemed. That's a major cut. <laughs> right? Oh. Uh, hey, man. Come on, man. Hey, man. You know gonna Somebody say? ain't reading. They're going to say it already happened, though, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah hey, yep. man. That's what they're going to say. And look, this Babylon, man. They had already been, this is past Jeremiah, this is the book of Micah. That's right. So where is that Babylon talking about now, man? Right here. It's talking right about here. America, man. Yeah, he tells right you when you're going to, uh, into Jeremiah 23 and 7, that he's going to deliver them out of the land in the north country. Yeah, that's right, man. That's and that, right. that was going to be known more than even the, Israel, the Exodus uh, deliverance. Yep, that's right. Come on, man. So, they say you shall not even remember that. So you saying the land, and they say the land of the North Country deliverance already happened. Come on, man. But people was talking about, still talking about the original Exodus. They ain't talking about that one. People don't even know that even happened in history. And they, and they come on, man. Yep. Oh, boy, I'm telling you, man. Hey, man. You, that, that's why it's so imperative to to adhere to the word. Those red letters, man. Let me tell you right, something. Bro. For you to start to walk in, on this path, man. You got to get into those red letters because Yahweh Shah is the door. That's right. That's the straight path, man. That's right. Yeah, it's, That's not a, it's not a particular camp. Yahweh Shah is the door, man. I yeah, Yahweh Shah is and, the door. And, and, man. and ain't no, no man standing there at the door opening it or closing it. Man.
you like know, the boy yeah, Mississippi I said. I is the door, man. Yeah, I wish I had the door, man. The boy Mississippi said that the door is his elders, man. This is, this is Isaiah 55 and 7. Let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts, and let him return unto the Lord. Oh, Lord, that was wicked. That's yeah, wicked. right, they were wicked. That ain't talking about Esau. That ain't talking about Esau, man. Oh, man. And he will have mercy upon him, and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. Right. Oh, come on, man. Hey, you gonna pardon Esau? You gonna pardon Esau? <laughs> you know, but that's what our people need to do, man. Hey, right. man. You know, we need to turn back to the Lord, man. You know, he's willing to, to forgive you for your sins. That's right. You know? And I think that's the one thing that a lot of, um, you know, like I was telling them, them the brothers earlier, I was talking to a, a sister, a girl that basically yeah. she feel convicted about some of the stuff she's yeah, done yeah. to her family right. or it's puts it in her face. Right. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, that's the one thing that the gospel does is that it allows them for someone to get forgiveness and remove that shame that's upon them. That's right. For their for their uh, transgressions. Because some, cause some people, they their stuff is known, meaning like, yeah. you see, you know, someone that has a, a, you know, a bad relationship with their kids, you know, as far as, or, you know, they're a single, so-called single mother or whatever. Right. And they feel that people look at them a certain way and, their, you know, their family treat them a certain way. Same thing, a guy comes out of jail, you know, he got tattoos, he's a former gang member. He did some things. He yep. needs forgiveness, man. Mm-hmm. Yep, that's right, man. That's right, man. I'll tell you, boy, our people, our people are in a, in a, in a world of, of hurt, of, of shame, of... And we at the bottom, man. We at the bottom. This, this, this is Isaiah 55 and 2. Wherefore do you spend money? for that which is not bread, and your labor for that which is which satisfy not. Hearken diligently unto me, and eat ye that which is good, and let your soul delight itself in fatness. Mm -hmm. He's talking about hearkening unto this word, man. Mm -hmm. The statutes and laws commandment, man. Mm -hmm. You know, you out right. there working hard, busting your butt for money to buy you some food. But the most I tell you, that's not food, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Food is this, these scriptures, man. Yeah, it's right. You know, yeah. if you if you diligently seek after the, the the kingdom of heaven, then everything else gonna come on to you, man. Yeah. That, you know, right. your food, your home, your your clothing, all that's right. gonna come on to you. So you got to hearken unto the word of the Most High, man. If we wanna, you know, make it out of this and do it to the end. You know. That is so true. It's like Yahweh Shai told Satan. The man that liveth not by bread alone, but by every word that's proceeded out the mouth right. of your house. Yeah, that's it. Yep. That's right, man. That's right. Boy, look like a touch. Mm-hmm. And what he told the woman at the well. Uh, yep. Mm -hmm. She was talking about, uh, he asked for something to drink. And she was talking about, uh, you have nothing, you know, no cup to drink from the well. And uh, and he told her, he would say, he was talking about, you know, giving us some of that living water, uh -huh. you know, <laughs> giving us some of that living water to drink. Mm -hmm. She couldn't understand. It, yeah. You know. That's right. That's right, man. Yeah. Give, give me that. Uh, that was it. Ten, thirteen. Cause man, saying it. This is the Book of Hosea, chapter ten, and verse. 13. Ye have plowed wickedness, ye have reaped iniquity, ye have eaten the fruit of lies, because thou didst trust in the way. That, well, that's all I wanted right okay. there, because right. you trusted in the fruit of, the fruit of lies, man. Mm -hmm. That's right. The fruit of your lies, man. And uh -huh. see, that's what Jake has done. They, 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 they operating under a wicked banner, and they trusting in lies, man. Uh -huh. They, they, they will not parking into the truth that the Most High is, is brought out through these laws, statutes, and commandments, man. And, and, and to know that the scriptures talk about that the way unto to life is, is, the path is narrow, but the way unto destruction is wide. So you have so many different avenues that's leading unto death, man, but only one path leading to the right way, one, which is life everlasting through Yahweh Shah, man. And you got to follow the instructions that he has given that you should do to get to that that that, that path. And and it's simply read uh, uh, written in the book. But our people, 
they, it's, it's crazy, man, when you kind of, when you see how the Most High has blinded our people. Because you'll show them, it's like, look, the straight path, look what he's saying right here. And then I, I can't see it, I can't see it. I can't see it. So what do you do with that, man? Mm -hmm. I mean, our people are blinded, bro. It's, it's according to the, to the curses, man. Our people have, have fallen into a, a state of total zombification up in here, man. That's right. We are truly the walking dead right now. That's mm -hmm. right, bro. That ain't just a, 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 a TV show, man. That's a spiritual condition. Yep. That, that's upon this planet with our people, man. And the only way that you can get out is to be how shot. That's uh, what it is, man. It's like, it's, it's bad. You can get that Isaiah, was it? Isaiah 62? 62, verse 1. I believe so. If I'm the... How you doing? All right, Chicago, right. Right. All right, all right. Yeah, okay. All right, all right. Oh, y'all want to see? Yeah, no, 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 I live here now. Oh, you live here? Yeah, I'm familiar with it from up north. Oh, right. okay, okay. okay. Uh, yeah. Hey, let me get you, come here, let me get you one of our cars so you can check us out on YouTube. Okay. You got, you know, if you want to just have questions or anything like that. I got you. Where y'all located here? Huh? Oh, we just come out here on right, the, yeah, every Saturday. Every Saturday. Okay, yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. Cool, cool. We got an email contact too, but yeah, you get our YouTube page. All right. I'll send my contact card. All right. Okay. All right, bro. All right. All right. 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 Y'all have a good day. Say so, Isaiah 62 and 1. I think it's 62. What did it say? For Zion's sake, will I not go my peace? Yeah, 60, 60 and 1. Arise, shine for the light. Yeah. This is Isaiah chapter 60, verse 1. Arise, shine, for thy light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, mm. and gross darkness the people. Oh, yeah. But the Lord shall rise up again, shall, shall arise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. Yeah, so the gross darkness the people, man, that's the blindness. That's right, bro. That light that's going to illuminate is going to be the light of Yahweh Shai. Man. That's right. He said, I'm the light of the world. Uh-huh. That's in John. Right? Yep, that's right. That's right. That's how that darkness is removed away from us, man. When you, that's why it tells you, it tells you when you have, I forgot who said it, but he says when you become illuminated. Right. You know, there's a the word illuminated, which means the, that's a real illumination, not this, uh, yeah. this uh, thing that is enlightenment that Esau's talking about, which is nothing but darkness. Yeah. The enlightenment period. period that's good. Which that's is good. the era that we're in where these, uh, all these people on the planet believe that the Esau is bringing them life, living in the pursuit of happiness. Through war and to do war, drugs and deception, man. Right, right. That's good. That, that, that the people are in gross darkness, man. Meaning that they have had they had no light back then, man. They were they were uh, not filled with the knowledge of Yahweh yeah. Yahweh Shah. This is John John one, starting from the top, and it says, "In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God." The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. Right. And the light shined in darkness. The light shining in that gross darkness. Come on, huh? Come on, man. That's a perfect precept, yeah. man. And the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. So who was that talking about in that Isaiah 60? Hey, man, Gross look darkness here. covered right. the people, man. So that was, they couldn't comprehend it. This is Isaiah 60 again. Go ahead. I'll yeah, say. so when, <laughs> when we come and we show the people in the scriptures, we're saying, look, man, Yahweh Shai is the way, blase, blase. I can't see it. I can't see I it. Can't see it huh? mm -hmm. That's what it's talking about, man. That's, it, bro. That's the gross darkness. Now, you That's may it. be Israel and know certain things. Maybe an aspect, a detrimental aspect that you need to get. And you'll read it and you'll say, I can't see it, I, but you know you Israel, you're doing high holy feasts. Yep. But it's an aspect that you're missing, man. That's right. Because you're still in the midst of your sins and in that gross darkness. Yep. Still in that darkness because Jake knew they were Israel and they was in darkness, man. And they was in darkness. Some of them could come through and show you who their forefather was and go to the freaking registry, man. Yep, that's right. Mm -hmm. Right? Yep, that's right. It's Isaiah 60 and 19. The sun shall be no more like thy light by day, neither for brightness shall the moon give light unto thee. 
but the Lord shall be unto thee an everlasting light, and thy God thy glory. Come on, hey, man. That's lovely, bro. Woo! I like that. That was fire. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Shoot, man. Right, man. Shoot. And like you said, I, about the light, Yahweh was shy. If you really truly believe that, you're going to basically take hold of heed of his words, man. That's right. Which includes, you know, the weight unto righteousness, man. I love that song. I love that. Right. <laughs> that way unto righteousness, man, that he set up. You got guys saying, you how shy this, that, and other, but you guys are just treating him as just, as just really, just literally, strictly a shy prophetical lamb that he just for, forgave y'all of y'all sins and y'all just going to mosey on down into the kingdom without having to obey not right. one red letter. Right, 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 right. Not one red letter in it, man. You got guys that go, just go to the, the Sermon on the Mount, man. The whole TMS, oh. y'all guys have been, been against the whole... Y'all done hey, nullified y'all self from the whole deal. That's right, bro. Just off, of, just off of the Sermon on the Mount, y'all. That's right, bro. That's, that's Sermon on the Mount. Y'all guys have swore. He said, swear by nothing at all. You guys guys have swore that men were the King David. Y'all done swore that our y'all going to wake up from his slumber. Y'all done swore all kind of stuff, man. man. You got man and then swore that he would denounce y'all with shot for a man. Man, this is, I'm going to keep on going on this. This is John 1 and 6, and it says, There was a man sent from God whose name was John. The same came for a witness to bear witness of the light that all men through him might believe. He was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of that light. <laughs> that was the true light which lighted every man that cometh into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not, and they still don't know him to this day. That's right. Come on, man. That's very reiterated in Revelations, I think, 21, where it says, without the one I just read, of mm -hmm. except to that. You know, where the kingdom, they say, the sun going to shine in the water. Because mm -hmm. uh, uh, Yahweh Shai will be that light. Yeah. I said, man, it's the only path, bro. <laughs> it's the only path, man. That, hey, you in, you having problems with certain things? Hey, man, humble yourself, and then let that, let that Holy Spirit take forth, because Man, humility, that's the thing that Yahweh delights in, meekness and faith. Mm -hmm. That's that's in, uh, what is that? I think that's Sirach, I think that's Sirach 1 and 27. Yeah. Yep, that's it. For the fear of the Lord is wisdom and instruction, and faith and meekness are his delight, man. Faith and meekness are his delight, so... You know you got to be humble man and be willing to hear something man because you know when you when you when, when that pride that pride it talks, about, it talks about the pride comes before destruction a pride pride will block your your, your ears from hearing the truth that's what pride does man that's right man but a humble spirit like it says in the scriptures to the humble and contrite spirit you know so hey, those are the people that can get it man they can humble themselves and be like let me read that man let me see yeah, con, I can see it, man. Mm -hmm. That's what the most high device said, bro. That's right. But see, when you coming up and you like, woo, 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 woo. no, no, I got it, huh? I got it, huh? You don't need that, huh? Come on, man. Yep. How, you, how you gonna, how you gonna, how you gonna deal with you, man? Yep. You can't, you can't deal with somebody like that, man. The spirit is not gonna deal with somebody like that. Yep. You got to be willing to say I'm wrong. Exactly. That's that, like the first yeah. step in believing in y'all shots. What they do? When they went to the River Jordan, it says there was a River Jordan and they went there, they were confessing their sins. They was confessing their sins, man. They were admitting their fault, man, not. Man, hey, look, man, you got to be willing to say, man, I hey, Salaki, I'm wrong on that, huh? I, I can't, you know, man. And you show people, you know that they know. Yeah. When you go into them pages, man, you know you're wrong. Yeah. But man, that pride, that pride. pride will not let you say it because that will negate yep. all the stuff that you built up yep. about your persona of being the top teacher. Or you always right and yep. we wrong. Yeah. And then it's like, listen, let every let let y'all be true and every yeah, man, man a liar, man. Yep. Pride and is before we're, destruction. We're not even bro. taking. We're not even telling you preemptively that we're not even taking. Uh, we're not even taking. What's it called? We're not even taking. Like that, we're the ones. You know, right, so right, we're, already, no, no. we're already absorbing that. That's man, not that, yep. that that was already there two thousand years ago. You know, you know. So we can't even take credit. We're not even trying to take credit for stuff that was already. They already already did. was already around. The we just did, the most I just gave us understanding and interpreted the doctrine that was already understood two thousand years ago. You know, I'm gonna tell you something, man. 
Yeah, yeah, you can't really post. So we're telling you, you should say, hey, man, I was wrong. And that's between you and your house child, man. Right, and your house. right, right. right. That ain't between you and us. Yeah, you should right. say, hey, listen, man, your brothers was right about the baptism for the remission of sins, man. Right, right. You know, we say, hey, listen, man, that's the Lord's, that's the Lord's yeah, doctrine. Yeah. We, hey, you know, and we just, like, took, we, told, we just took we hold of the Lord's doctrine. That's it. We don't do nothing like that. We yeah. just present the information. The man, the messenger is not. Well, you get a lot of that from these guys. Yeah, man. We, didn't we tell you to Cornelius? We told you to Cornelius. Uh, yo, no, y'all believe it now. Holding that against yeah, guys. Yeah, we you told you Cornelius was Israelite. Yeah, back, in one, back in the King House of David, back in 1999. And, and here, man, here's when the thing. remind you of your year 2000, you want to run away from it. And here's the thing, man. <laughs> when you when you get into these these pages, you got to always be a student in this thing. Because mm -hmm. as a master teacher, which was Yahweh Shai, that was the, the main teacher. This is where we getting our instruction from. So we can't call another man rabbi? Huh? Well, hey, man. Call no man rabbi, man. This, he was the teacher, see? <laughs> now, the funny thing is, it's like, man, when you get into this thing and you start to, you stay at a student level, that means humility. That's right. 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 He's going to lift you up. Come on, Ot. I'm going to show you something. I'm going to give you an example. Now, I'm going to just give you a corner example of this. Let's just say you have a person who's, who's teaching a particular subject. But he doesn't boast himself. He's he's made many mistakes, but he's corrected those mistakes. Mm -hmm. And then down the line, this dude has tons of answers. So when people start to get into his doctrine or his understanding of whatever subject it may be, they start to come to him because he didn't make the mistakes. And then the people gravitate toward, towards him because they know that through his mistakes, he found the he right learned. answers. Yeah. So he was debased. And then he was elevated, mm -hmm. but he stayed in a student state. Mm -hmm. He always stays. So, the, so when you're taking it to a spiritual understanding of it, if you stay a student to this and you stay humble, you ain't gonna have to puff yourself up. The Lord is gonna do it for you, man. That's just how the thing works. That humility, if you humble yourself and you stay in these pages, one day people are gonna come to you for answers. Right. You gonna you done made the mistakes. You say, oh, I done made this mistake. I'm gonna correct it. The humility in you allows you to get to that position, and then the Most High just raises you up. Then next thing you know, you got 500 people coming to you for answers because you done been through it, man. That's just how the thing works, man. That's how it works. But see, we want to get into the point where we like, no, I'm the man. I'm the man. That's flesh. Yeah. And the spirit wars with the flesh, man. That's right, bro. It don't work like that, man. It don't work by your way or by your strength and your power. It's through the power right, of the spirit. That's right. Man, what was it? Oh, well, I was like, man, that's out on the corner of my eye. I was like, man, what is that, man? I was like, yeah. Oh, snap. Is that a, is that a, I was like, okay, it's just a balloon on the moon. Hey, bro, bro, I, I saw it on the corner of my eye. I was like, man, what is that? <laughs> Boy, he thought it was one of those. I didn't know what that was. What's that, that, was, that, what's that, what's that movie? With them old people, and they had them bots that used to fly around. I forgot what it was called. It was a movie that came out back in like in the early '90s, late '80s, uh, and it really? had them little like they had them little like robots that would follow them. And it was like the cast was like a bunch of old people that went like in one, it was like two movies they made, and they had bikes that were flying around like that. That, that was uh, was that that thing where it was like in that pool or something? Yes, I know what you're talking you about. I can't remember. Right? I can't remember That's that. That's what it looked like. Yeah, yeah, I can't remember the name of that show. I know what you're talking about. It was a about. movie. They yeah. had like two of them, I think. Yeah. And there was a scene where they were in the pool, all them old retirees. Yeah. Uh -huh. I remember. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, man. Yeah, man. Humility, bro. You know, meekness. Hey, man. Fruit to the spirit, man. Yes. Love, peace, joy, kindness, man. This is this is the path that Yahweh Shai has told us to operate in. Move forward, man. And just and check this out. If you if you adhere to the teaching of Yahweh Shai, man, that's right. He gonna elevate you, man. He gonna elevate you, bro. Whoever it may be. You know, we all, hey man, we all doing this for for a reward, man. You know, we we hoping that that we partake of that blessing that he has given unto those who are true and faithful to his word, man. That's right, mm -hmm. man. That's what we're looking for, man. We're looking yeah. for the kingdom. That's right. Yeah, you gotta stay a teacher. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Stay a student, stay a while, student. You're, while you're a teacher. Yep, that's right. That's right. You know? Stay a student, because, see, student, the word student, man, you can learn as being a student, man. But if you think you're a master teacher right now, you know what that means? That means if a person who's staying in the student state comes to you and say, Hey, I, hey, I got this here. You 
you a student, bro. Right now. That's, that's pride right there. Because yeah. you done puffed yourself up. This dude got, got five that he can give to you and make you even more strong. Yep. But now you done blocked it off because you said you was a master. Humility, man. You got to have humility. Yeah, you never, you, you always, even when you get past the initial stage of the gospel, there's other things that you learn, you know, past that. And, and the, the key thing is, is that as you're growing, is not to be making, teaching mistakes. Right, right, right. If you're a teacher and as you're learning, you can't be making teaching mistakes and having to go back and correct it because that's not what they did. They grew and built from a foundation and then they, when they, when things were further re re uh, revealed, right, right. they expounded further in those particular areas. Yeah, because a, a prime example of that is when you go into 1 Corinthians. When Paul goes to the Corinthians, he told them, you are but babes, because they started mixing up doctrines. I'm, I'm, I was yeah. baptized of Cephas, I was of a Paul, and then the doctrine, they, they had confusion inside that church. Mm -hmm. And see, Paul had to go in there and, and correct all that stuff, man. They, their doctrines, it was heresies going uh, going out. Yep. And what did Paul say? He said, I partly believe it, man. Yeah. He said, are not you all carnal? Yep. Hey, man, he, he, he was telling the people, man, because see, and he said, are not ye all babes? Those were babes in this thing. But then they started to puff themselves up, man. Mm -hmm. And then guess what started happening? Weird doctrines started presenting themselves. Mm -hmm. Paul had to go in there and, and correct all that stuff, man. Yeah. So when you're looking at that first Corinthians, you, he's speaking to the people who are in a baby state of mind, man. That's what he was telling them straight up. This is where you're going off. You're going off right here. You're going off right here. He had to go in there and fix that stuff, man. Here's, here's, I'm, I'm going to show you a prime example of this. Because see, Paul had to go over there and warn them of that. Why did he have to warn them? So they, they wouldn't be destroyed. And if they didn't take heed to the warning, guess what happened? Paul's hands was clean. And then if they continue on, they're going to be destroyed. Mm -hmm. But this is Ezekiel This is Ezekiel 33 and 8. He says, when I say unto the wicked, O wicked man. This is talking about Israel. It's talking about Israel. Thou shalt surely die. If thou dost not speak to warn the wicked from his way, that wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at thine hand. So we got to warn the people and let them know this, because if we don't, the blood is on our hands. Nevertheless, if thou warn the wicked of his way to turn from it, if he do not turn from his way, he shall die in his iniquity, but thou hast delivered thy soul. That's what Paul did, man. When you go to the Old Testament, to the New Testament, it's hand in hand. If you want to prove something in the New Testament, go to the Old, the Testament. Old Testament. It's going to precept itself, man. Mm -hmm. It's right. going to, if, if you can't find it, if it's in the New Testament, you can't find it in the Old, you got to check that thing, man. Yep. yep, that's right. And vice right. versa. If it's in the Old, you can't find it in the New. That's right, man. Because it all goes together. Oh yeah, he sure do, bro. That dude look like more than three, bro. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, man. Uh, yeah, it's just man. This, this yeah, when you reach the state of saying if you, you don't need to be taught no more, you didn't reach the new. You ready? You didn't reach the new covenant. You, you, right. You didn't reach God's right, state. Right. 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 You didn't. Man. Oh man. You didn't reach God's state right there, bro. If you don't have. If you don't have to be taught anymore, man. If you don't have to learn anymore. If you if you in a new covenant right now, bro. I don't know what to tell you. Because you know what? We can't tell you nothing because you think you got it all. Right? <laughs> <laughs> we can't tell you, man. That's how most uh, need Christians need to be taught love. again. Yeah, hey, you need to be taught again, yeah. man. But then, if you're in the new covenant, man, and you believe in that, that means pride is set in, man. See, when pride takes root, your ears are plugged up, bro. You are you are deaf, you're deaf to the to the word, man. That's right, man. You won't be and that's also part of the body, you know, because some some people not not be able to get and understand all aspects of the Bible. But then you might have somebody that understand this part of it, and somebody else might understand that part of That's it. That's the body. That's you know? how the body works. Uh -huh. You can't just sit there and think that you've got the full understanding of everything. Right, yep. right. I know that's not true. Uh, what's going on? All right.
Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. Y'all be dropping it. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. It was like I believe in the gospel. <laughs> I'm, I'm in the nation. I'm in the nation. Uh huh. But hey, man, I love it, man. Y'all be dropping it, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I definitely know. I believe we all are Hebrew Israelites. Uh -huh. Israel. Yeah, right. yeah. You know, yeah. I, I love the minister. The minister. Right, right. You know what I'm right. saying we on this route. Y'all on this route, but like, uh, y'all, one, one of your leaders. Um, Uh, the brother that passed away some years ago, uh, Ben Israel. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah,
and they don't know nothing about physics or trigonometry. And I they know mom and dad did it. Yeah. Then, then, then yeah. I got to show them. I can't show them and say, right. well, you, you don't know so and 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 you don't know so and so and so and so and so and so. So the point that I'm making is this here. It, uh -huh. It's critical at the same time it's, 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 it's criticizing. I heard the brothers down the street mm -hmm. a couple of blocks today, the last Saturday. Yeah, yeah uh -huh. I already know what you're called, talking about. Call the other brothers niggas. Right. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. and, 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 and said if if you, if you collectively trying to save the niggas, then you need to get on away from us. Now see. Well, well, now, now let me finish oh, ahead, one go ahead, statement. Go ahead, go ahead. Now yeah. if I just walked up here, uh -huh. you, and I'm from Los Angeles, or if I see you in Los Angeles and you don't have on, I'm just gonna say your robe, etc. I, I don't know you know. Right. What you know, right? Okay, right, well, right. Then, and, 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 and I think the Bible said, "Judge should he not that fellow man." Yeah. Okay. Well, now, just because I ain't wearing a beard, you know what I'm saying? Does that make me not a Hebrew like? You know what I'm saying? Or just because this, that, in other words, there are little bit of things that the brothers say that the man should be doing according to uh -huh. scripture, right, and right. very well could 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 be true. Yeah. Right, but right. what I am saying, and what I'm, what is hurting me uh -huh. is I see one brother on one corner uh -huh. cutting another brother on another corner and I hate to use the derogatory but but for as far as society is concerned mm -hmm. we're all the same people. In other words, if we are Hebrew Israelites, uh -huh. this is if we are. Right, 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 right. Then if we're all from the same place, you know, which we definitely are, all right. then how can you down me? You don't even know me. That's right. So, so those brothers, those brothers were were dropping expletives on the other brothers. Yeah, they, they, I mean, he actually called niggas. In other words, he said, "Well, if you if you think you're gonna save them niggas, then you get away from us." So that was that was so therefore he was saying that they're niggas and we are better than that. Now you may be living a better, cleaner lifestyle. This is this is true. That's a carnal that's a carnal mentality that that person said to that brother. But 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 but. It, it really hurt me to, to 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 hear another brother talk to another brother that way. That's right. Because if you are who you say you are, uh -huh. and you can't even love me, then I, how are you gonna tell me about a God or a Jesus or a God, and you don't even like me? Right, right, right. That's true. That's true. Hey, hey we totally agree with everything that you have said. Cause see, when guys go, when guys are out here on the corners. They'll, they'll use derogatory words against our, our own people, and they are sincere coming up to ask a question. Uh -huh. But then they'll hit them with all these expletives. Now the scriptures say in the book, in the Apocrypha, it says a man who uses appropriate words shall not be uh, reformed. Reformed. Shall never, shall never be reformed. Uh -huh. he, he shall not be reformed. So uh -huh. so these guys, they, they operate not in the spirit, uh -huh. the Holy Spirit, uh -huh. but there's a different spirit that they operate uh -huh. in, right? Well, 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 well now, now I, 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 I'm not criticizing. I don't really care what spirit that they are. Often, because I'm listening for the information. Right, yeah, right. You, like you say, you eat with fish, you eat the meat and, and, and throw away the bone. Mm -hmm. Okay, you know, so I'm listening for, for, for the information. I, I came here a couple times because I just know two brothers here. Uh -huh. you know, right there and up at the metro station. So I'm listening for the information. Right, right. Because once the Sabbath day is over, then on Monday, I'm disseminating what I hear you say. Right, 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 right. right, right, right okay, right, that, that, that's right. what I do. Uh -huh. yeah, okay, right. I'm a teacher, and I, and I, I pass out the information. Yeah, right. yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, oh, Okay, yeah. that's that's what I do, so that's that, why I come. Well, we were just yeah, talking yeah. about teachers and students yeah, just we, right we before you came. Talk, we were just want. talking about teachers and students. Cause, 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 on, and, and I just reiterate what I, what we were saying, you know, we all have to stay in the, in a student capacity. Uh -huh. What is that, that what does that allow? If your students came uh -huh. into your classroom uh -huh. and they had a teacher's mentality, would you be able to teach them? Uh -huh. Well 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 now, now well, strictly well, teach well, 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 yeah. well let, 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 let me let me answer that question this way. Okay. Uh, okay, it, 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 and this is twisted, but 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 this is this is the point of view too. I just had a son who graduated the University of Houston. Yeah. He graduated the Magna Cum Laude. He's a biology chemistry major. Okay, he topped his class. He yeah. said this chapter is called the testing standard. It's called the MCAT, the Medical School Admissions Test. Okay. Okay, now he is shocked because I was making money doing elementary kids in, in middle school and in, 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 in high school, taking them around the country to various private schools. Right. Okay, now, but when I sit and talk to him right now, the things that he be saying about biology, this, that, and the other, I do not know. Right, right, right. But right. he don't make fun of me. 
Okay. So yeah. what? So what I'm saying? Right. The student might come in the class. Right. And he might be four years old, but I'm still listening to him there, too. There you exactly go. What we I'm still listening to him. What, what, what exactly. is that? What is that called? What is that called? Uh, 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 uh. That's called being humble. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's I, called, I, I, that's I'm called listening because yeah. if he got something, if he ain't with three, I'm that's listening right. yeah, to what he's saying. Right. <laughs> that's exactly what we were just up here talking about. Look, look, listen to what. Listen to how how this thing. How it, how it operates. L listen to how our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shah did. This is Matthew 5 from the top. Matthew 5. It says, And seeing the multitude, he went into the mount. And when he was set, his disciples came unto him, and he opened his mouth and taught them. Uh -huh. So, he had a set and he just started teaching. He didn't uh -huh. have to degrade these people. Uh -huh. He knew these people didn't know what they, uh -huh. they knew. Uh -huh. So, uh -huh. them people that you was talking about, uh -huh. They weren't they weren't operating like like uh -huh. like like our Lord and Savior was operating. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. This is how brothers have to operate. If you come and ask a question, we go go through the scriptures and show. You. That's just how it works. I'm not gonna degrade the brother because he don't know something. Just like you said, your your son would school you on on uh, what he knows in his field. You wouldn't you wouldn't look. How could you come up? You know what I mean? You have to come up humble and be willing to hear. Mm -hmm. But you got to hear just like the brother. Who's that? Was that the unit brother? Was at the unit. He said, "How shall I? How shall I learn unless a man guide me?" Uh -huh, yeah, uh -huh, so you uh -huh, got to you got to be uh -huh. willing to be willing, humble enough to listen, and then the teacher has to be willing to give it and not uh -huh. degrade the person who doesn't know. Uh -huh. Well, yeah. I, 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 I got one more person because I just got recently introduced to what you brothers are teaching. I'm talking about the last year, year and a half, just from this here. Mm. And, and then, how did you? Not necessarily specific to you, or where did you go to be able to first turn you on to to to, to, to what you need to know? What, well, you well, in well that, words, that, that turns into it. That turns into life experiences for me. Uh -huh, right. Uh -huh. And my and my thing, I mean, pretty much the same thing with everybody uh -huh. else. And, and the reason I'm saying that is because in the black community, there's a church on every corner. Right. Right. right okay. Right. The black minister is not saying none of this. He's not. That's He's right. not saying none That's of right. this. That's right. It all None goes up it. to back to the Most High, man. He 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 gave that knowledge to some others, and it and it just spread it, you know. Like this knowledge, is, and he opened other, he opened brothers' eyes and and understand the fulfillment, the fillness of the scriptures, man. The truth about this about the, about the Bible, right? Because everything that we speak comes straight out the Bible. Mm -hmm. Those ministers in them churches. They don't be coming out this Bible. They come. They speak it from their vain heart. Right. Right. Yeah. You gotta also remember that when you're an educator. Yeah. You know, they have theology school. See, when right. you, I, I worked in high, I worked in high level, of, uh, higher education myself. I'm, and when you go into higher education, everything is, everything is compartmentalized and certain things are to be taught and certain things are not to be taught. Because the, at, the, at the top of the education system, there is a hierarchy of, of information and disinformation and misinformation. That's what the modern day education system is based on, you know, uh, by the people that rule this world. Uh -huh. So when you go into these theology schools, they're going to learn a particular doctrine that's going right. to go in line with a certain uh, future agenda. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You know, you, you have something called social engineering. Uh -huh. You know, social uh -huh. engineering can be uh -huh. done through uh, uh -huh. through uh, teaching, through policy making, uh -huh. uh -huh. through uh -huh. entertainment, uh -huh. media, right. all these things right. influence social engineering. Right. Right. And uh, the whole point is to have a certain outcome. Uh -huh. And the outcome, when you go into the so-called black community, uh -huh. is what you see, what those churches did. That was one of the, what the outcome of our community is partly based on the what was taught by the churches That's right which was right. intended to make the outcome that you see today that, that uh -huh. the intention was that outcome uh -huh. that goes uh -huh. back to uh -huh. uh, plantation right. doctrine because you can read our people all day straight out the bible what, what the, the lord words are and they won't even believe it because yeah. they're going to believe what the church told them. Uh -huh. most of our people don't read the bible yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. and i'm, I'm going to show you i'm going to show you see those preachers those black preachers or whatever you know, these people, some may know that they Israel, some may not know they Israel. But I'm going to say the majority wouldn't even care if you told them anyway. But this is the reason for it. This is, uh, this is Micah, this is Micah 3 and uh, starting at the ninth verse. He says, hear this, I pray you, ye heads of the house of Jacob and princes of the house of Israel that abhor judgment and pervert all equity. They build up Zion with blood and Jerusalem with iniquity. The heads thereof judge for reward. 
It's all about the money in these churches. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. They up here teaching people and telling and condemning, but right. all just for tithes and offerings. Uh -huh. They want right. that money. Uh -huh. They want that money. Uh -huh. And it says, the heads thereof judge for reward, and the priests thereof teach for hire, and the prophets thereof divine for money. That's right. Mm -hmm. All of it is about money. Yet will they lean upon the Lord and say, Is not the Lord among us? None evil can come upon us. And that's just how these, these preachers are doing. That's right, man. They're not leaning upon the Lord and the, the words in these pages. Mm -hmm. They're leaning on that mammon, that's right. that filthy lucre. Uh -huh. And everybody knows it. Everybody knows about Cruffalo Dollar. They know about it. They know, about it. They know right. about it. Everybody knows that. But how come, right. how come this stuff is filled up every, it's, every it's Sunday? It's filled up. Uh -huh. It's filled up every, every so Sunday. So you got some right. of our people, they trust in lies, man. That's right. The church, they, tell, you, the church, the church tell you that, that the Most High hates sin and love the sinner. The Bible tell you totally different. The Bible tell you that the Most High hates sinners. Uh -huh. you and, know? He's, and he's angry with them yeah, every day. He's with them every day. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. And, and he, he's, he say he can't wait till the okay. day of vengeance come to, to get to, to deal with them. Uh -huh. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah because... And also, yeah. it's like, and, and the church tell you that the, that the Most High laws are done away with. When Yahweh Shah tell you that the heaven and earth, not one, one jot, one tittle of the law shall not change until heaven and earth is done away with. And that which is done. Right? Yeah. <laughs> And no, it, it's just different doctrine that the, 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 the church teaches and preach. They preach that everyone can be saved. No, they can't. The Bible doesn't say the that. The Bible don't say that. You know, the, the Bible says that, 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 that uh, salvation is only for Israel. And, you know, and for those the that, that believe in, his, right. in, your, in his son, Yahweh Shah. Yahweh yeah. Shah. That's, That's what it says. Yeah. So we so even 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 out of the Bible it tells you yeah. he's not gonna save redeem all the people. That's right, he man. says it multiple times. It's all he's through the save from, from the it's old testament to the new testament. Forty four thousand or whatever it is. Huh? Yeah, the hundred and forty four thousand are men that basically have gained understanding of the true gospel. Yeah, right, uh -huh. right. That's that's uh -huh. basically who, uh, who those men are. Uh -huh. But there's a uh, uh, outside of that. There's a, other people that believed uh -huh. multitude. Uh -huh. That the the multitude that believed outside of them as well. Uh -huh. or, you know that were called to eternal life. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. See, the, the scripture uh -huh. said that Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, uh -huh. but the, but it's only a remnant gonna be saved. Only uh -huh. a remnant. Uh -huh. You know. Uh -huh. He compared the remnant to like a big vine with a whole bunch of grapes. Uh -huh. Right, and him taking that one grape, uh -huh. the one little grape. Uh -huh. That's what he does. That's basically uh -huh. like how yeah. he he, he uh -huh. says it's uh -huh. gonna be, that's and the right, rest man. of it's going is gonna be destroyed. That's right, because, because see, he, he's abound to his word. Go ahead. Because see, when we come in, when we come in, so brothers, that's as part of this what we we, we teaching faith in Yahweh Shai, and then doing his law, statutes, and commandments. But see, like we were saying earlier, Creflo is filled up every Sunday. He's, he's filled up every Sunday. What type of people are, is, is coming into that church that's believing these words of this guy? Because this guy's doctrine is getting perpetually worse and worse and worse. Now, we brought this out earlier, but I'm going to bring it out again. This is, uh, this is Hosea, and I'm going to start at the, at the 12th verse, Hosea 10 and 12. It says, Sow to yourselves in righteousness. Sow to yourselves in righteousness. Reap in mercy. Break up your fallow ground, for it is time to seek the Lord, till he come and rain righteousness upon you. But now listen to this. For ye have reaped, ye have plowed wickedness, ye have reaped iniquity, ye have eaten the fruit of lies, because thou didst trust in thy way. Come on. These people that's going into that guy's church, they have eaten the fruit of lies and they trust in their own way. They got the same mind as Creflo Dollar. Creflo trusts in his own way. He don't trust in these pages. He trusts in his own way. So the people that are following Creflo are of the same mindset as Creflo. That's why these places are so inundated. But until you go into these pages, into these red letters, and, and speak, preach uh, Yahweh Shah, it's kind of like the brother always say, it's like a dog whistle. Yep. When you relay these words properly, uh -huh. then those people, you may have a hundred people inside that church, and then that dog whistle go, and then one of them out of that hundred may be like, hold up, that's a different sound. And he gonna leave and adhere to this. That's how it works. Yeah. That's right. Because when we preach this gospel, it's really, it's really in search of the elect. 
uh -huh. which is which is uh -huh. used, like the 144 in the multitude. Uh -huh. Only you. those that's gonna be able to hear it. Uh -huh. yeah. uh -huh. You know, uh -huh. and that's so, and so, it's so, not so, many. Uh -huh. So in other words, you're saying everybody don't hear. Everybody. There don't you hear. go. Right. There you in go. other words, or could yeah. you say it's not for everybody? Everybody don't hear. It's, it's not, not for everybody. everybody. It's not for everybody. Not for everybody. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. That's why we don't have a big congregation of people. Elect means to choose. These people that are of the elect. Uh -huh. of, the, of the God of Israel were, were chosen, pre, already pre-chosen. Uh -huh. The thing is, is that they have to eventually believe in the gospel. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So when they hear the gospel the right way, uh -huh. Uh -huh. it's like a dog whistle. Uh -huh. I hear you. It's like a dog whistle. You. you know, when, I, when you blow a dog whistle, uh -huh. only a dog can hear it. Uh -huh. But when, when, when it's preached the right way, and, and that, that, that whistle is blown the right way, uh -huh. it don't matter what condition someone's in. When they hear it, they're like, they're like, man, uh -huh. that's a different message. Uh -huh. They're uh -huh. going to know. That's how it is with everybody. Uh -huh. yeah. uh -huh. Even if they've been in a different Israelite doctrines, when they hear their gospel the right way, uh -huh. they just know. Now, this is, and, and this is the, uh, to help you on that aspect. You said that it's not for everybody. Like the brother saying, the dog was a beast. This is Romans 11 and 7. It says, what then? Israel have not attained that which he seeketh for? But the election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded. According as, as it is written, God hath given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear unto this day. So the Most High gave that to the people. Mm -hmm. Everybody ain't gonna get it. So, 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 so that, 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 that means that for some, it's helpless. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah. Some is for, for the majority of our people, they have they they for the majority of our people, it's, there, there's no there's no hope for them. Right, right. It's just the truth. The most because because think, think about it, we had a covenant that we were we had with the, with our court with our with with the Most High, with God, and it, there were provisions in that covenant of punishments that would occur to us when we don't keep it, which included what happened to our people. The condition of our people. Oh, you walk oh, up yeah, and down yeah, downtown. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Most of the people that are homeless is so-called black men. So-called black men in Houston probably make up maybe 15 percent of the maybe right. wait probably less than that because we're talking about age range 18 to maybe 60. That's over out here. That might be five percent, maybe five seven percent of the Houston's population. But at least 60 percent of the homeless is so-called black men right. in, in uh -huh. Houston. Right. Uh -huh. Maybe uh -huh. 70 percent, 80, uh -huh. probably 80. Uh huh. Uh huh. That's a sign of a curse. That's a sign of that's a mm -hmm. sign of a systematic targeting, and uh -huh. it's a sign that 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 people have been rejected. I mean, as a people, I'm not talking about them specifically, uh -huh. but as a people that we have uh -huh. been yeah. rejected yeah. Uh -huh. in part by uh -huh. our, our our maker. Yeah, uh -huh. right. For trespassing against him. That's right. This is what he said he was going to do to us. Yeah. See, when we first started out today, we were going to the curses. Curse shall thou be in the field. Right, right. Curse shall thou be in the cities. Everything that's happening right now, we are curses. And they said, and the, and the Most High said that those curses was going to be a, a sign, you know, and, a, and an astonishment to others, you know, and a sign to us to let us know who we are. Yeah. You yeah. know, and so that's that's how we can tell by according to the curses that we are the chosen people. That's right. That's right. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So that's why with, with that we have to we, we're. we're because we can't save ourselves, we are in a need now of a savior. We right. can't save ourselves. We have no military. The government is the government has prescribed in their own constitution that we are enemies of the state. We're not citizens. No, I, I tell you, I've read the constitution. I've read law. No, none of our people can show us where we're citizens. There's not one thing that could, that, not one thing in the constitutional law that can that you can prove that we're citizens of the United States of America. That, that We're not. That Fourteenth Amendment stripped That's every aspect of rights that we, as a people, have in this country. So when you see things happening to us, one joint, twenty years. Yeah, still uh, a stickers uh, bar. Uh, uh, so mandatory ten years. A, another, another individual who is not of our nation do the same thing, and they be like three months yeah. probation. Mm -hmm. yeah. Why is that? That's because of the curses. Yeah, those are curses. We're under our, our our enemies that hate us because it tells you we're. And the curse is that we will be sold unto our enemies. When you're sold, to, when you're in the possession of your enemies, what are your enemies going to do to you? They ain't going to make it easy for you. Right. Mm -hmm. They ain't going to make it easy.
to. That's why we need a savior. We need Yahweh Shai. Uh -huh. That's what. That's the solution that was that was put. Right. That's, that's what he's coming to save us. That yeah, we need to be. Uh, we need to have uh, our sins forgiven. Right. And we need, and and uh, that way we would have a chance at being to, being saved and and at having eternal life. Now these churches, they tell you they saved already. You go to the black church and say, I'm saved. I'm saved. Uh, you know, they be saying I'm blessed and highly favored. Say I'm saved. saved. I done gave my life to the Lord. I'm saved. What are you saved from? Right. Your enemy can come through, kick down your door, and blow your brains out. Take when, your when, kids. And the scriptures uh -huh. tell you, he who endures to the end shall be saved. Uh -huh. You know, uh -huh. we ain't at the end yet. We uh -huh. getting there. Uh -huh. But this is Luke uh -huh. chapter 1 and verse 69. And has raised up an horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. That horn of salvation is Yahweh Shai, which, which people, they know as Jesus. They call him Jesus, but his true name is Yahweh Shai. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us. Ooh, to perform the mercies promised to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. That's right. So that's what the meaning of reason of being saved. That's what we need to be saved from. Our enemy and from all the hands that hates us. Uh, yeah, and, the, and it's very clear that we have enemies, and we have was, people that hate us. And that was spoken by, by the Holy Spirit. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. So, so, so therefore, we, we were not saved? No. Yeah, no, no, yeah, no. We're not we're, saved. None of us we're three will saved. tell you we're no, saved. Yeah. We're, we're no, saved. yeah, yeah, that's right. That's it. And then it's also one in there, uh, it, you, you must get saved. that roof where you have to stay in our Saved from your sins. Right. Because so you're saved Canada's from the ones Canada's that Canada. hate you, saved from, from, the one, from your enemies, and then you're also saved from your sins. So those are three aspects that you have to, that salvation. Now, if you want to address the sin aspect, I'm going to show you how you address the sin aspect of that. Now, I'm going to start, uh, this is Acts 2 and 37. Therefore, uh, 36. Therefore, let all the house of Israel know assuredly that God hath made that same Yahweh Shai, whom ye have crucified, both Lord and Messiah. Now, when they heard this, they were pricked in their heart and said unto Peter and the rest of the apostles, Men and brethren, what shall we do? So now these people that crucified the Lord and Savior, now they're asking, what can we do for this, man? Uh -huh. I mean, now they, they prick. Uh -huh. That's like, uh-oh. Uh -huh. Hey, man, I'm getting kind of scared now. What, what yeah. can we do for this thing? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So now, 38, he's telling them what they're going to do, what they need to do. He says, then Peter said unto them, repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Yahweh Shai, Mashiach for the remission of sins and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. So now you can address that sin aspect by being baptized, getting the remission of those sins. Yeah, being baptized in his actual one given name. Which you is, know, because because yeah. because in the churches, in the Baptist churches, which many people in the South grew up in Baptist churches, they want you to they tell you to be baptized in Jesus' name. The, name, the letter J didn't exist. Yeah. Anybody who studies right. history, yeah. linguistics, uh -huh. knows that the, that the letter J was, was created like in the 17th century. Uh -huh. And also they know the, word, the name Jesus is not Hebrew. Everybody right. will tell you that the origin of the name Jesus is not even of Hebrew origin. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And, he, was, and he's a, he, he spoke Hebrew. His mom spoke Hebrew. The angel that told him how, what he was going to name clearly would have given him the name in the Hebrew. Hey, he, he, here you go. I'm, I'm going to give you that. This is uh, Matthew 1. I'm going to start at the 20th verse. Come on. Huh? So this is when the angel came unto Mary. It says, but while he thought upon, while he thought upon these things, he's talking about Joseph. Behold, the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a dream, saying, Joseph, thou son of David, fear not to take unto thee Mary thy wife, for that which is conceived in her is the Holy Ghost, and she shall bring... No, 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 read it again, Art. You, what? you said is the Holy Ghost, is of. For, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost, right. and she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Yahweh Shai, for he shall save his people from their sins. Yes, now, now, remember when I went to that other one, the, the Israelites were asking Peter, what should we do? Be baptized in the name of Yahweh Shah for the remission of sins. Right. Knock them sins out. Knock them out. Yeah, All everything that you done did in your life. 
get that baptism in the name of Yahweh Shah, it's gone. And then what happens after you do that? Mm -hmm. You go on and you start to improve on yourself and the scriptures call that sanctification. Mm -hmm. So you're renewing your mind according to the scriptures, mm -hmm. following those things that were prescribed that we should follow, forsaking all the stuff that you used to do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now you got a new mind. Uh -huh. And what's yeah. gonna happen when your mind changes? Uh -huh. Your actions yeah. gonna change. Yeah. There you go. Yep. Right. right. And now you on, and that's what's called the straight path. Uh -huh. right. When they say the straight uh -huh. path, uh -huh. Yahweh Shai, baptized in his name, remission of sins. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Boom. And that's uh -huh. gonna also build up that fear for the uh -huh. most high too. Uh -huh. Because you ain't gonna you ain't gonna wanna go back to doing the same old things you were doing in the past. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because you know he's gonna be punishing me for it now. Mm -hmm. You know, you got a clean slate right now, so if you uh -huh. turn back and go and try to do something uh -huh. that you did in your past, you know you're gonna receive punishment for it. Mm -hmm. You know, so it is gonna build up that fear. Mm -hmm. And the fear of the most high, that's when you start your knowledge builds up. Also, you know, you start building your knowledge up for the most high. Yeah, because if you if you go back, if you go back after receiving this, this is you know, you're willfully doing that. Uh -huh. You're yeah. willfully uh -huh. doing it. Because if you believe uh -huh. in this with your whole heart and then you decide to go back, uh -huh. Uh -huh. you're waiting for destruction. Uh -huh. it, says, it says a certain fear for waiting for destruction because uh -huh. now you're crucifying the Lord over afresh again. Uh -huh. So it's condemnation there. So now when you look at uh look at look at uh Judas who betrayed the Lord. What happened to him? He said, he said it had, Yahweh Shai said in the scriptures, it had been better that that man had not been born. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You betrayed our Lord and Savior. So, you know, it's one of the things you want to look at and you don't want to go back to those things. You just want to constantly be improving. Like, like, right, right. like you know, the Sabbath day today, we, and then we're going, we are uh, ending up uh, uh, the Feast of Pentecost. I mean, the end of Pentecost. Uh, said the week is tomorrow so like we wouldn't be doing no work today and right, we wouldn't right. be doing no work tomorrow type stuff you know it's you know you want to start incorporating that into your lifestyle uh -huh. feast of unleavened bread feast of weeks right. feast uh -huh. of tabernacles uh -huh. passover pentecost uh -huh. day of atonement uh -huh. memorial blowing the trumpets these are all laws see everybody in the world they automatically get christmas in their mind uh, Easter in their mind, January 1st in their mind. But when you come into these scriptures, you gotta cast that stuff away. Now you're going to the Passover, Feast of Unleavened Bread. You're starting to adopt these ways, casting them ways away. You don't want to dwell with that stuff no more. Mm -hmm. Right. Yep. Okay, brother. Yeah. It's yeah. about. Thanks for the information. Hey, man. Yeah. Hey, hey. Yeah. My pleasure. Yeah. My pleasure. Yeah. See you walk by all the time. Yeah. But you look like Morgan Freeman. I know you didn't hear that. Yeah. I, I, I hear it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> you got a nice restaurant down in Mississippi. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Nice yeah. Nice yeah. You'd have been down there? Not how I'm been. Not how I'm hey, been. Hey. I, I may make it down. Hey, you, you, know, you, you know, ought to walk up yeah. in there with them uh, shades on yeah, yeah. And, and start shaking people's hands. <laughs> all right. Thank you, my brother. All right, bro. Okay. All right. Uh, that's beautiful. Hey man, that's beautiful, man. Man, that was good. <laughs> yeah. Man, and, uh, by way of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of, man. Right. That's right. Huh? Yeah, that's right, bro. You got time. Oh. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Six and verse 6. Now when Yahweh Shai was in Bethany in the house of Simon the leper, there came unto him a woman having an alabaster box of very precious ointment and poured it on his head as he sat at meat. But when his disciples saw it, they had indignation, saying, To what purpose is this waste? For this ointment might have been sold for much and given to the poor. When Yahweh Shai understood it, he said unto them, Why trouble ye the woman? For she has wrought the good work upon me. For ye have the poor always with you, but me ye have not always. For in that she has poured this ointment on my body, she did it for my burial. Very I say unto you, wheresoever this gospel shall be preached in the whole world, there also there shall also this that this woman hath done 
be told for a memorial of her. And with that, we'd like to give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh the Father. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, peace and blessings to you brothers and sisters waiting on the deliverance of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. Shalom. Shalom.